my friends, welcome to this week's Make and Take. This week we are making this extremely cute, adorable bubble tea card. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna start with this fun card base. We've got our layering piece. And then I am actually gonna lay something out here. So it's a little bit easier for you guys to see when I work with light colors here. And then I have the little label piece. We're gonna be stamping our bubble tea sentiment on there. And then of course we have to first decide before we ever even look at the first step here, what flavor of bubble tea that you love. So I have all of these different colors or flavors. And I think, I usually go with green tea flavor. That's my preferred. It's Taylor's is strawberry vanilla. So I think I'm gonna make the strawberry vanilla one. All right, and then of course, this is gonna be the swirly part, which is the cloudy vellum there. This is our little stencil, so trace our little cup. All right, so I'm gonna grab a pencil here, and we're gonna take these two pieces, I'm gonna lay these down, and I'm gonna take my cup stencil that I created, I just cut this earlier on a piece of a chipboard, and I'm gonna lay this down here, and I'm gonna trace this. And this will give me the right shape and size for my cup scissors here. I'm going to have both pieces together and I'm going to cut these out so then that way they are the exact same size. Alright. And then just for the purposes of making sure that these two pieces stay together, I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two dots of glue only at the very bottom just for the moment. That's gonna lock in those two pieces of paper together here. Um, you're gonna be able to see this adhesive, this glue, which is why I'm only doing two dots because we're gonna cover those up with little bubble teas, little bubbles in just a little bit. All right, so there's that part there. We don't need that anymore. This is our card base. We're gonna fold that in half. This will be our layering piece. I'm gonna go ahead and grab double-sided tape here for the back side of this. And it's going to go on the back, on the top, and on the bottom. I'm just going to peel that away. Then I want to get my fun ribbons. I have lots of fun ribbons for us to play with today. I want to pick a kind of meshy looking one and then an iridescent one. So I think I really like, ooh, which color combo? I think I'm going to go with the darker color combo today because I already did a card earlier with the lighter color combo. And you'll see that in just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna trim myself some smaller pieces of ribbon here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I want this to be on the far right side here. So I'm gonna set that down and then bring this to the back side and just stick it in place. The double-sided tape is really nice for this because it's a dry adhesive. You just go ahead and stick it right down. I'm gonna need another piece of double-sided tape on top of each of these pieces of ribbon here because Right now it's not sticky and we need it to be sticky again so we can put it on the next piece of ribbon. And that's this mesh guy and I'm going to lay this right on top of the other one so it lands right in the middle. That way you get that fun meshy look but you get the iridescent pop behind it. And stick that to the back side and now that that's all in place we're going to stick double-sided tape on the back side on all four sides including on top of where this ribbon is because again right now it's not sticky. notice that sometimes I peel from the middle because sometimes when I peel from the end it will pull up the entire piece of double-sided tape and so by grabbing it in the middle then I know I don't accidentally grab the end and peel that quick piece off again. All right now that's sticky on the back on all four sides we're going to stick that on the front leaving about an eighth of an inch border on all four sides. That'll just give us a nice frame. All right so now for the bubble tea part. So I have this half inch circle punch and I'm going to pop out a bunch of little bobas. are a fan of bubble tea, but I love bubble tea. I love it so, so, so much. It's so much fun. I love the textures. I love the jellies. 
for this card today, we are just doing the bobas, but um, you know, if you really want to make a little tiny jellies, you certainly could. I have a lot of paper, and then depending on what flavor of jellies you love, personally, I'm a fan of the coconut jellies, um, but also the rainbow jellies are very, very delicious. I like multiple textures. I like the little tapioca balls and the jellies. Ah, I'm just getting so excited for bubble tea even just thinking about it. All right, so now for the top piece, we are going to use this two inch circle punch. I'm just going to grab a small side of this strip of paper. This is two inches wide. I'm just going to grab this right here just so I can make a little half circle. All right. That will be for the top of our boba. And then I'm going to punch out the little straw hole right in the middle there. I don't need this whole circle. But of course I will need the part for the straw and that will be this guy here. So I'm going to take this little guy and I'm just going to cut a little piece off of this. It doesn't need to be very long. I'm going to round about just a little bit because you know, straws are a little bit round at the top. All right. Now I'm going to take my little straw piece and shove that through the top as if we are actually stabbing it through the top of bubble tea. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and glue that in place just on the back side there. Little straw bit. All right, so remember earlier I was telling you make sure that you only do two dots of glue. I don't know if you guys can actually see where those are, but they're right down here. We're gonna be covering those up. But before we do so, we need to make our little label. So what I have here is this cute little mouse stamp from Lawn Fawn and this adorable letter set that I spelled out bubble tea, also from Lawn Fawn. And we are gonna go ahead and stamp that down. So I arranged the sentiment, the boba tea sentiment, um, in a way where it will wrap around this little circle label perfectly. So you can just stamp that down. And then, of course, for the little mousy, I have different colors of pink, so you kind of pick your most favorite color. I think I'm gonna do pink to go with the strawberry vanilla flavor. And I'll ink up that cute little mousy. And stamp him in the middle of my little label there. Adorable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the label, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and Stick this on here. You can move this out of the way now that I'm done with that. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this little guy. We're just gonna kind of figure out how tall we want our bubble tea cup to be. Okay. So once you've kind of decided, then you'll go ahead and start sticking this stuff down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this in place. And notice that you just go all the way to the bottom in order for that to make sense. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue on the top of my bubble tea. Now I know the straw will stick off a little bit. I do have larger envelopes if you want an envelope for your card. Otherwise, you can of course cut the straw down a little bit smaller if you would prefer. So it's going to be up to you. I think I actually am going to make this just slightly smaller. There we go. All right. Now we're going to glue on our cute little label. Bubba tea! And I do want this to overlap a little bit onto the lid there. All right, now I'm going to start with those two dots of where I put that to glue my vellum to my background piece, so then that way I can cover those up. And now I'm just going to fill in with a whole bunch of boba! Oh my gosh, yes! I don't know if you guys know this, if you're bubble tea aficionados, you probably already know that these are tapioca balls and they have the strangest texture ever, but they are very fun and extremely enjoyable in a drink of bubble tea. I'm going to make sure that our bubbles are landing behind our label. We don't want them to be so close together that they just look like black. And then, of course, I'm going to put just a couple up here at the top because when you get bubble tea, the bubbles go all the way up to the top. Well, when you shake it, kind of depends on if you're moving your drink around or not. All right. So cute. Oh my gosh. Absolutely adorable. All right, so now I have a couple pens here. I have my white gel pen and I have my black Fudenosuke brush pen. So for the white gel pen, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add little shine marks to all of my bubbles. Normally I wouldn't add them to every single one, but because these are shiny, I am going to add them to every single one, but I'm not gonna put that, the shine mark in the exact same spot on every single bubble. I want to look kind of dimensional and like they're moving around a little bit. Oh my gosh, so cute. Also, I'm going to take my black food no suki pen. I'm going to do dot grouping, which is a big dot and a couple little dots. And then I'll do a random dot kind of here and there. And this just kind of fills up this white space because the white space is a little awkward right now because there's kind of a lot of it. 
Also, I'm gonna take my black pen and I'm gonna outline just ever so slightly. If it's not perfect, actually that's kind of okay. But I'm gonna outline our bubble teacup so that it stands out a little bit better on the background. All right, isn't that so cute? Now for the inside, you don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but of course I do want to. So I'm gonna lay on some more little bubbles on the inside of my card here. And I kind of like that they're kind of stacked together. I'm gonna add a couple more over here. Now you can leave just the bubbles as is, but you know, I can't just leave the bubbles as is. So I'm gonna add in my little mousey again, sticking with the same color as before. And I want him to look like he's eating one of the bubbles. Ha ha, yes. All right, and then just like before, I'm gonna add cute little shine marks on each of my little bubbas. And there we have this week's make and take. Isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I love bubble tea so much. So I hope you guys enjoy this too. All right, and then this is the other one. This is my green tea flavor of my boba. Isn't that so cute? But you know, you can really do whatever color palette makes you most happy. All right, friends, this craft will be up until next Wednesday at noon, and then we'll have our next craft. Come by anytime. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, friends.